If you have a headache or backache and you take a drug to block the pain, you'll notice that the effects of the drug wears off in a few hours. Have you ever wondered how does this happen in your body? Has this question kept you awake at nights? I'm sure it has. But don't you worry, because I have the answer for you today. This happens because of cytochrome P450 enzymes. Cytochrome P450 is a superfamily of enzymes involved in drug metabolism and bioactivation. The most important role of the superfamily of enzymes is the breakdown of xenobiotics in humans. Xenobiotics are essentially substances that you introduce into your body, that are foreign to your body, such as medicine or drugs that you intake. The location of this breakdown is predominantly the liver. So essentially, the biggest role of cytochrome P450 enzyme is to turn drugs into soluble molecules so that it can be excreted out properly. The active site of cytochrome P450 contains a heme iron center, specifically heme B. Heme B is the most abundant heme. It is also present in hemoglobin and myoglobin. Heme consists of this complex organic ring structure called protoporphyrin, to which a single iron atom is bound. The iron atom is bound to the four nitrogens of the porphyrin ring system, forming a plane. In cytochrome P450, the heme is also chelating to another molecule, the cysteine residue. So the iron is ultimately held in the center with the nitrogens of the ring, as well as the thiol of the cysteine residue holding it from the bottom within the cytochrome P450. There are many different kinds of P450 enzymes, but they all attain similar structure. Here, we're looking at the crystal structure of P450-BM3. This has 13 alpha helices and 5 beta sheets. The alpha helices are presented as purple coils, 310 helices and pi helices as green coils, beta strands as red arrows, and beta loops are represented as yellow tubes. The amino and carboxyl termini has also been labeled. The cysteine residue loop is present just prior to the L helix. This rigid architecture is required to both protect the cysteine ligand and hold it in place in order to accept protons. The other highly conserved region involved in O2 activation is the portion of helix near the heme iron. When the interaction between the oxygen and iron is taking place, oxygen enters on the opposite side of thiol and always enters at an angle. It never enters in perpendicular manner. So let's discuss how exactly does the cytochrome P450 enzymes work. In the beginning, the iron in the cytochrome P450 will be in the ferric state, 3 plus state. The R region in the mechanism represents the drug, R being the variable region. As the cycle begins, the first step involves the enzyme coordinating or combining with the drug and giving the enzyme cytochrome P450 with the substrate RH complex. In the second step, the enzyme substrate complex will get reduced by NADPH. NADPH will get oxidized to NAD+, while the electron gets transferred to the enzyme substrate complex. So now the oxidation state of the enzyme is Fe2+. So the second step involves reduction of the enzyme complex and oxidation of the NADPH. In the third step, oxygen molecule comes in and the electron from iron gets transferred over to the oxygen and it then produces this complex. So the iron in the cytochrome P450 has been oxidized, it has lost an electron, whereas the oxygen has been reduced, it has gained an electron. Step 4 is similar to step 2. NADPH gets oxidized to NAD+, transferring its electron to the complex. However, note that the electron is not accepted by the iron atom, instead it is accepted by the oxygen atom. In the fifth step, two protons are added. The protons interact with the enzyme substrate oxygen complex. Two electrons, as well as one of the oxygens from the complex, gets transferred to the protons, which therefore produces a water molecule. The reason this occurs is due to the fact that two oxygens in the enzyme complex are covalently bonded. In order to break the bond, water molecule needs to be formed. Steps 1 to 5 are essentially preparing the substrate for the next step where the drug actually gets modified. In this step, the remaining oxygen will get transferred over to the substrate. 
It is both thermodynamically and kinetically favorable for this to occur. Once this transfer occurs, the enzyme is able to release the metabolite, the product ROH. Once ROH gets released, we are left with the original cytochrome P450 enzyme in its default ferric state. So now the enzyme is ready to begin the cycle all over again. As previously mentioned, cytochrome P450 enzymes play a crucial role in drug metabolism. Metabolism is often divided into two parts, phase 1 metabolism and phase 2 metabolism. Phase 1 can involve reduction or hydrolysis, but the most common biochemical process that occurs is oxidation. Oxidation is catalyzed by cytochrome P450 enzyme. As we just saw in the mechanism cycle of cytochrome P450 enzymes, phase 1 reactions convert a parent drug to a more polar water-soluble metabolite by unmasking or inserting a polar functional group. However, after phase 1 reactions, the resulting drug metabolite is often still chemically active, so it must go through phase 2 metabolism before it can be excreted. Phase 2 involves conjugation reactions, which means attachment of an ionized group to the drug. These groups include glutathione, methyl, or acetyl groups. The attachment of an ionized group increases the water solubility of the metabolite, as well as decreases the pharmacological activity. So after going through phase 2 metabolism, the drug becomes inactive. These drugs are then renally excreted. Let's take the example of aspirin. Aspirin undergoes phase 1 metabolism with cytochrome P450 enzymes and gets converted to salicylic acid. In phase 2, it is conjugated with either glycine or glucuronic acid, forming a range of ionized metabolites that can then be excreted in the urine. I hope everyone learned a little something about cytochrome P450 enzymes today. Now all of you can go to bed in peace as your ultimate question about drug metabolism has been answered.